Hi, welcome to Rescue Chart Tutorials. So in this tutorial, we are going to see that how we can extract values out of a JSON object or how we can extract values out of a JSON response using REST Chart. Okay, so first I'll perform a GET request test. Out of that, we'll get a JSON and then we'll try to perform the extraction. So to do, do that, again, we'll use uh, the API, the student API. So I have to start it. If you don't have uh, the student a uh, API with you, you can download it from the description box below. And in, in the other videos, you know, you can get more brief uh, introduction about it, you know, how to perform basic operations using this API. Okay, so all you have to do is go to the directory where you have placed the student API jar and use the command java jar rest.jar. This is the name of the file, rest.jar. So when I'll pass this command, like the application, the API will start running on the local port. Okay, so within this uh, project here, I'll create a new package. Let's say JSON extraction is the name. Okay, so in this package, I will create a new class. Let's say extract name of this class is let's say extract JSON example okay so here's my class so within this class first i'll create a normal test like i would i will do first let's create a method let's say name of the method is void test double zero one okay here's my method and i'll make it a test by providing it a test ng annotation which is test okay imported from the test ng library and here first provide the base URL in the base path like we do. So, you know, this is the part we have already done with. So I'll just copy it from, you know, the other test where we have already performed such thing. So this is the request. I'll explain you this, don't worry. So here we go. So in order to start with our request, first we have to, you know, pass the. Okay, so in this particular project, we didn't add it the restaurant library. So that's why we're getting this error. So from my previous project, I'll just copy the rest of short dependency. Okay, so here it is. And put it inside the form of this project. <coughs> okay, here it is. So I'll just simply save the file. And go back to my request. Okay, so should not be here. Okay, now it's fine. Right, no error. And if I go back to my test now, all errors are removed. Okay, so first of all, you know, in order to initialize the request, first you have to provide the base URI and the base path. So here they are. Right. And after that, I'll start building up my request. I'm storing it inside a response object, initializing with the given, setting the content type, logging the request, and firing up the get method. Okay, so let's say I want to get you know a student that has id 99 so when i'll run this request my application is running on the back end on the console i'll see the response in that response i got the information about a student that has you know these values it has a id first name last name right this is what i want now i got a json in front of me our objective uh, of, of the session is to learn how we will perform the extraction so let's say you know i want to extract value of a key named first name okay or i want to extract the value of key named program okay so how i can do that there is a dedicated method in the rest of your library which is all you have to do simply you know this was my request so i'll just copy it from here and right after you know i will i'm firing up this get method then I'll use another method then which is used to you know put on the validation and then I have a method called extract okay further within the you know extract method I have another nested method called path so here I simply have to give you know the key which value I want to print on the console or w the value that I want to extract so let's say I want to extract the you know value on my cons console for the key email 
okay key name is email so in the path i'll simply provide the key which is email in lower case right and right here i'll add my request so now i know that this email key has a string value right so i can store this you know whatever the value we are getting out of here inside a string object right so i'll just simply create a string object here uh, let's say string uh, I'll name it as email I'll say string email equals to this request okay and I can simply print this string object and I'll see the extracted value of this uh, value of this key email in my console okay so let's run this test one more time and this time we'll see email extracted right here okay in the same way you know i can extract other values out of this json too so uh, i'll also add a string before it so you know it will be easier to understand with the multiple values what we are extracting so let's say email is this okay so in the same way i can extract other values too like i have first name let's say last name and one more program okay these are the other keys so let's extract all of them so here i'll write string so this is for the first name uh, this is the last name and this is the program okay so i have to change the path also so for the path uh, the key value is first name right it is in this fashion oh, be very careful about you know the case of the key right it should be same and the next one is the last name so here in the path i will pass the last name and then i have program we have a courses also i'll come to that but let's just extract this simple string values first and here we go okay print it out all of these together here okay so here i'll say this will print the first name then it will print okay this, this is the string object for the first name and concatenate it then i have the last name and then i'm printing the program right so when i'll start running this test on the console's time i'll see all the values extracted okay from the email to the program first name and the last name so here it is so it's saying i didn't change the string value that's why we're seeing email email again but this is the email this is the last name this is the first name this is the program okay so how easier it is to do it with the rest assured live with the dedicated method called extract okay i hope this part is clear now we'll see that how i can actually extract a key that has a in, in the value that has a list okay the square bracket represent a list these were the string values right so the only change that here it will happen is the object where we are storing it earlier you know all these values were uh, holding up a string value that's why i stored inside a string object but this is a list so i have to store inside a list so here i'll simply create another request and the key i'll change it to course this is the key and it's returning a list so it won't you know work with the string object so here i'll create i'll simply say that this is equals to an array list okay generic type will remain string because although it's a list but the values are string here you see values are string so the generic type will remain string and let's say uh, array list object i'll name it as course okay import the array list from the java.util and as it's an array list i can simply print it i have to traverse through it so for that let's say i'll use the enhance for loop so it will be again a string object either i can you know uh, have a array list object or simply a list object 
uh, suppose it's a list so I'll say list m okay then the list that you want to traverse which is scores and here I will simply print that value import it from there and the array list is course okay so here you know we're seeing the error but just try to understand you know why we're getting an error although it's a list you know but individual values that are coming inside this for loop are string values. so instead of list we don't write list here but we'll write string okay so now you know when the traversing start you know of this list called courses first value will come inside here like the first value suppose is calculus calculus will go inside this object and it will print I'll simply print that object okay then the next value will come inside get stored inside this M will be printed and same goes for the other values okay so this time will uh, will run this all the information that we are getting out of this uh, you know JSON will be printed on our console okay we are getting an error here let's see why there is an error okay so it's saying the null pointer error because it's not getting something which we are seeing this error because you know nothing is coming inside this whenever you see you know, null pointer exception that means nothing is going inside this list okay so something is wrong with the request so you know this part of the request is fine because it's working so we are doing something wrong with the path right so I provided this path as course and let me check in the JSON where it is courses so instead of course if I change it to the courses and save my request then you know the values will go inside this array list object and then the traversing will start we won't see the uh, null pointer error now so if I run this test is passed and I can see all the information and also the courses extracted individually right okay so you know in this way we can perform the extraction using the rest short inbuilt method extract okay